Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. In our previous video, we have learned how to schedule a job. And in that, we simply console some information and, and our schedule trigger information is like it should run for the five times with a interval of one second in between them that you could see here. OK, it is running for the five times and with one second of interval. Now I will show you how we can run forever. OK, that also we can do with the help of the quad scheduler. OK, so in our previous video, we have discussed about the scheduler uh, uh, service. If you have not followed, I'll suggest you to follow this playlist, guys, where we slowly built one item at a time. So we have imported a scheduler. We have started and shut down and uh, we are scheduling the job for that. We are building the job details and trigger details object. OK, and this is our first job right now. I wanted to run these two parallelly, one for the five times, second one for infinite number of times. OK, so for that purpose, let me keep it another class called second job. Here I am going to implement uh, uh, one interface, which is uh, sorry, job interface, which is coming from the quad. OK, so here we need to implement the execute method, right? So here, let me put something like this out here, like uh, executing, executing forever. OK, so I have my job ready. I simply need to hook this job into my scheduler, right? So I have first job uh, here, right? Here only I can I can pass the other one. Or I can create another service and I can import these objects. Let me create another service so that it is going to be clear for you. OK, like uh, uh, schedule forever. OK, as a class, let me keep it as a service and uh, let me take all constructor so that I can auto wire my scheduler uh, thing. So private final main scheduler as main scheduler as scheduler. OK, and uh, private final and common utils. Common utils. Common utils as common utils. So what is there as part of this common utils? In common utils, we are building something related to job details, trigger information and the trigger info. Here, this one will going to have information related to the trigger. OK, so I have this. So when my service is starting itself, I wanted to schedule this. So I am using the post construct, something like public wide init and uh, simply I need to get that trigger information, right? So trigger uh, info is equal to is equal to that trigger info. I have it from uh, common utils info object. OK, now this is important. If I go here, if I wanted to run forever, I need to pass this guy. OK, this needs to be true. Other things I am going to explain. OK, so if I go here, this is my second parameter. OK, and I don't care about the first parameter because anyhow it is not going to be useful. OK, so let me keep it as one. And is it going to run forever? Yes. Then how many seconds of interval I need to have thousand? That means one second and uh, one second of initial offset and uh, anything else. I have some information I'm going to pass like hello. OK, this is my trigger info. Then I can use my schedule. OK, schedule method where I have the class name and trigger info. Class name is nothing but uh, the job name. OK, so second job, uh, second job dot class comma. Uh, whatever the object we are building. OK, so. This is long, so keep it L. Keep it L. 
so what will happen here it will go to the schedule job in the schedule job uh, with the class name and trigger info we are building the job details then the trigger details in job details what we have we have the job builder object and for the job we are building the job details with identity that means the name of it and the job data here whatever the data we are getting we are keeping that into the map and we are passing that next is a trigger information here uh, we have passed that uh, boolean value to it this is useful here okay so i am i am building a simple scheduler where i am setting if it is true this is going to be true so it will come it will take care of this the initial how many times the trigger count variable is there right where it is uh, this one okay this is not going to be executed since my job uh, since it is in a if else loop and the if is satisfied here so it is not going to be executed that's why even if you pass how much ever the value doesn't matter okay then we are simply building the trigger object so here the trigger object we are building and it is going to start at the initial offset and with the data that we are passing on okay so this is my service now i simply need to run my application here main method so that it is going to be executed forever yeah i think that's all you need to know uh, from this tutorial but i would like to show you the output so that you can have a better clarity okay so we have scheduled two jobs one is like five five times it will execute and uh, second one is going to execute forever now you could see first one second one first one second one after that the execute forever is keep on happening it will keep on happen guys with one second of interval okay so this is a small tutorial how you can execute it how can how can you schedule a job forever okay so i hope you guys are following this playlist i strongly recommend you guys to follow this playlist so that it is very easy to understand and very informative as well yeah so that's all from this tutorial guys thank you so much for watching thank you it's me